Shrimp Rider back again with another epic adventure. Today, guys, I've got something absolutely incredible for you. I'm with Carlo Paloza and with Zenny Wazit, and we are inside a $20 million mansion. This place is 15,000 square feet at least, and pretty friggin' epic. So anyways, guys, let's check it out. All right, guys, so we're starting at the front of this mansion, and you can see right out there, that's demo fencing. Well, it's, it's actually called tree protection fencing. So they put that up to protect the trees during the demolition. But so front entrance off one side, you've got a little bathroom here. A little toilet with a, well, I don't know what that's called, like a shelf on it. Nice sink, vanity. And this would probably would have had, oops, like crashing into things. This would have had like a sculpture or something, I'm sure. And then over here, got like a coat closet. But nice arched ceiling entrance way with pillars like there's lots of different little details here big solid door and of course there is a very grand entrance way we're going to go in there shortly let's just tour the rest of this front area so you got another little bathroom here that's pretty handy two bathrooms right off the front door when you gotta get home, you go home, when you're racing home to go to the bathroom, <laughs> and you go in the front door, but in a mansion, you got so much area to tour, you don't wanna get, you know, you don't wanna take that extra time. But anyways, so now you come in the front door, ah, home, and look at this. What an incredible room. So we're just going right across to the backyard to show you more demo tree protection fencing. It looks like back there, actually, they have a waterfall feature, probably. But look at this entranceway. This is a definition of grand. There's the front door. The pillars and arches are just so awesome. And you got all these details on the ceiling, but look at this. I don't think that's really called an oculus per se, but it's an opening. I don't know what that would be called, guys. But up top, I believe that would be an oculus right there. And at one point, there would have been a grand chandelier hanging right down. Can't wait to check that area out. I just love it. So that's a lot of the money's in the details of all these places. These are plaster cast, I think. And look at this room, nice big room, but look at the ceiling detail. All that fancy work, wood, wood uh, and then you've got like all the, the, uh, like the feathers or leaves or whatever they are along there. Big, beautiful room. So probably just like a sitting room and like just, wow. There's another very big mansion right there. You might recognize it. Not going to say who it belongs to. So I don't really want to give this place away, but yeah. Now this place obviously is getting demolished. Oh. We are at the cigar room, guys. So this, okay, so after a couple, after a dinner, you know, the, the husband would retire to the cigar room, pop a few cigars, have a nice, you know, $150 shot or a glass of friggin' brandy or something. But I do love the wood. And look at the detail. Just incredible inlay there, like all this stuff. It's really an art. And, you know, to do woodworking is incredible anyways. I'm... I'm a big fan of the woodworkers. What's this in here? Whoops. And like this just huge room, like I don't even know what this would be. It's probably put a hat of use. I'm sure they, you know, rich people seem to have no problem filling stuff with furniture or filling places with furniture. Closet, so this is probably a bedroom. I 
I mean, it's hard to say really. Because these places are just so friggin' big. I remember seeing one mansion and the actual pictures of it active and it was not at all what I expected. Look at this. This is nice inlay there of very, very textured rock. I bet those slices were pretty, pretty spendy. And again, yeah, if you recognize that place, you know where this is. But yeah. Just saw a car go by there, but I mean, that's common because, oh, there we go. There's Zenning with Zay. There's Carlo P. What's up? The P stands for PP. Yes. <laughs> but look at this. This is really interesting and unique. All these like polished stone, basically, right here and by the stairs. Like I don't know what this feature is about, but walking on it is super quiet. Yeah, it's like a ball pit when you walk on it. You kind of sink and everything. It's weird. And then look at this ventilation shaft. That's strange. I feel like you'd have to make sure you didn't have kids here putting rocks down the hole there. And there's a staircase, but we'll check that out in a minute, guys. We have lots to look at still. So this is probably going to be like your dining room over here. Because the kitchen is right there, I'm assuming anyways. And again, nice, super tall ceilings. These are probably 12 feet, maybe 14 feet. As you can hear, they are being super loud, but it doesn't matter because this mansion, no one can hear anything. We could be playing music and carrying on and no one would hear. And I do like this little kind of nook here. Beautiful grounds. And then, so this is the kitchen, guys. Now this is, this is something else. Big, big eat-in kitchen. And I'm gonna go here to give you the full pan. Like it is just wicked. So you probably had like a little dinner ta a table here. I can see, or maybe an office kind of a spot because it's a good little open area for doing business while you're you know, working or eating breakfast. And then this kitchen, like, you've got this massive table, like an island, and then a second island. Like, this one's probably an eat-at island. That one's just like a prep island. But then also this massive area here would probably be another kitchen or dining area, the main kitchen dining area, I would, uh, would assume. But look at this feature. All this natural light pouring in here because of this wicked domey kind of thing. Gotta get over to those glass blocks too and check that area out. Looks flooded in there. But yes, yeah, so that's a really unique feature. I'm wondering what's up there because I'm very curious now. Wow, this is such a huge kitchen. This is a dream kitchen. I mean, I'd, I'd love to have this much space to cook in because you just got, you wouldn't believe how much counter space you need when you're making some of these feasts. I mean, here it is. This is just before Christmas. So imagine hosting a Christmas dinner in here. You'd have plenty of space to do all your food prep. But if that's not enough, you've got this secondary kitchen area, which is probably like for the servants. Yeah, that's all flooded in there. Oh, and there's a calendar, and it says 2022 on there, May. So I bet this place, although it's relative, it's a fresh, fresh location, I bet it's been abandoned probably since then, May of 2022. So down that way is to the front door. And here's another look out the front. So I'm wondering if this is, uh-oh, do not touch red. It says... I don't know if you can see that there. It says goodbye. Do not touch red switch. What is this, like a self-destruct button? I kind of think goodbye means that's like the simple way of putting um, arm, arm it so you can leave. 
Here's another little view at that. Like, oh, I can see, you can see, I don't know if you can see my reflection right there, kind of surprise me. I'm like, oh geez, is that me? And it's back here. It's a little, like a laundry kind of pantry room. Okay, so this is the garage. Wow. Number one from left. So they got all these markings on where the buttons are, which is pretty funny. But look at this. That's cool. So all that glass is just to give natural light as well as some aesthetics. little office area and not very nice furniture there it's kind of cheap looking this is what this probably is where the big bucks were made to buy a place like this what's this here oh there's your power box this is going to be your elevator can't get in here Oh, this is another kitchen kind of area. Oh, this goes off the kitchen over here. Okay. So this is going to be your pantry. I bet this was filled with all sorts of goodies at one point. I'm just seeing some signs on here that says to donate. So that's good. So the mega rich will donate. Look at this woodwork. That's incredible how it's overlaying and everything, that's really neat. Yeah, this is just another miscellaneous room, probably had some art on the walls and, you know, a living room or something. I actually missed this one when I was taking pictures. That's me. Yeah, look at this archway up here. It's like from like a ch chateau. All right, so we are now back at the grand entrance slash stairway area. And this is just, I just love this. I mean, it's just so incredible. What's crazy is I, I can't imagine how much just those rocks alone would cost. And to know that they're probably just going to get tossed in a landfill like most of this place. It seems they've come through and already started removing some things. I noticed around this, some things have been salvaged, but... You know, for the most part, the people buying these places don't care. And they're just, whatever, i am build a new one. Now, look at that. I didn't notice that fireplace is bang on center with those uh, pillars. We have main staircase. Now, this is kind of uh, frustrating for me because this, you'd think, would be dead on center. Nope. She's off to the side which is kind of annoying. I wouldn't like that. I mean, if I'm going to spend millions and millions of dollars, I want my damn staircase to be centered. But that's just me. And my OCD, I guess. Now, I do like these skylights that allow the natural light in. That's pretty cool. Because, you know, a place like this, it gets pretty dark with all the dark wood. And check this out. So above that little opening, Oculus, whatever you want to call it, there is bookcases. This would be a library of sorts. Well, you know what? I'm assuming they're bookcases. They're just shelving, really, so it could be anything. But look at this. Here we go. Such a cool scene. And then this is probably okay, so you get your book or whatever, and then you can come kick it by the fire. Or you could just watch television and say, forget reading. Another little bedroom here. And look, guys, like, 
you know what? I forgot to go in that area. We'll go down there afterwards. I just, the place gets, you know, a place like this gets, you get lost wandering around. But yeah, there's that water fall feature way back there. And I see this tennis court back there, and it makes me wonder, do people really, that many people really play tennis so much? It's this, oh, look at this. So there's like a, almost like a two-way mirror for the bathroom for when you're pooping. Look at this bathroom. This is a nice one. Look at that tub. Oh, I like the splash guard, if that actually drains. Oh, yeah, there's a drain over there. That's a nice-looking tub. There's your toilet and boot bidet. Look at that shower head, eh? This is going to be a closet, uh, obviously a walk-in closet, and one heck of a walk-in, like massive. I certainly would not have enough clothing to uh, accommodate all of that. Zay and I combined probably don't. <laughs> Look at that. Just love that. That's such a unique feature. It's so one thing I like about exploring these mansions that are just extravagant because you do find a lot of these wow features. Bedroom. A little peek out front here just to be sure. All good, but you can see it maybe across the road there, another mansion getting built. And another beautiful bathroom. Ooh, I love that sink. That's cool. God, I must be getting old if I like sinks. <laughs> hey, and you got w towel rack warmers. Like, that's sweet. I never thought you would need one, but then you never know. Another walk-in. So this, I wonder if this is like kids' rooms or something, because I feel there's still a grand master bedroom somewhere. Closets. I don't know if this is a bedroom or an office or something, because it doesn't really seem like a bedroom, but it could very well be, because here we've got a closet, another big walk-in closet. I wonder what the deal is. Like, why are these always so dark? I guess they're only dark when you're exploring them when the power's been cut at a mansion. Another Sony television there. And look at this, guys. Nice, like, this is like essentially like a clawfoot tub sands the claw. Nice soaker tub. And then, of course, if you don't want to, you've got this weapon here where it's got wall jets and everything. You can have, you're not getting dirty or staying dirty here too long with all that stuff. Okay, so we've done over there. You can't, the stairs, I think. Oh, so we still got this side to do and check out. Okay, here's another room we haven't gone into yet. This looks like another bedroom. I've actually lost count. I wonder what that is right up there. Huh, interesting. Looks like some sort of event. But yeah, like all these walk-ins are, oh, and there's, it's right there too. Interesting. But some sort of event or sensor. There's some really weird drawings on the wall. I think it was by the previous owners too. I can't even get this friggin' curtain open to look. The coast seems to be clear, which is great. I mean, we've been here for a while. Now, all this, like, this built-in stuff, like, that must have cost a fortune. See, what, you know, even these bookcases. There's a good view of the uh, staircase. And all just gorgeous. This looks like a sauna. A 
a sauna or a closet, but it, it seems more like a sauna because it's kind of, there's no, nothing for plumbing at all, unless it's behind this door. No, there's nothing. I wonder if it was just a closet then. Yet another bedroom. Not very, oh, ooh, look at these curtains. A little different than everywhere else, actually. Smaller, I wonder if this is like a staff bed bedroom. It's quite possible. Because it's a lot smaller, like the closet and everything. Here's the elevator. No dice. And this is, okay, so this is going to be your laundry room. So this is definitely staff area. That bed back there, I mean. Here, washer and dryer hookups. And look at this, you got a big friggin' thing there. I don't know, for mopping and whatnot. Another bathroom, I bet you this is going to be your, ma or sorry, bathroom, bedroom. Because it overlooks the back. So I'm thinking this is probably going to be the main master bedroom. I'm thinking. And then look, it's got all these controls here. You've got your thermostat. You've got whatever all these friggin' things are. Oh, look at this. Now this is friggin' cool. What a place for a tub. <gasps> this is going to be over in the kitchen where they had that other thing because that's the same shape that kind of juts out there. And I love the tile. Look at this. Yeah, this is definitely going to be your master bedroom feature. Super cool. Nice. His and her sinks and a big, big shower. Now there's the hers or his, and then you've got your toilet and bidet. Massive space in there too, so you could do some like acrobatics when you're pooping, if you wanted. And here we go, got our massive walk in here. Does it go, how far does it go? Looks like we got a little bit of mold of sorts growing there. Oh, I just seen reflection. I thought I saw water drops, but it was actually just the light reflecting off the, uh, Spider web. Oh my gosh. So that's his closet and this is hers. Look at this. Wow. Absolutely massive. And this huge table. Then you got your makeup room. And look at, see, like even this is, the paint is like trash there. So despite being a 20 million mansion, well, look at, you got even decay right there happening. Despite being 20 mil, it's showing its flaws pretty quickly. Makes you wonder if they really did that great of a job with the materials. All right, so as I mentioned, I forgot to check out this one area. We got a little sidetrack there, but it happens. But yeah, this is awesome too. I can't believe I missed it. And we are now in the indoor pool room. And look at this. Beautiful. So much brightness and natural light coming in. But look at the water. Like it's all the, the, sorry, the water damage. It's all rot there. I love the sky mural. I like. See, there's a look outside. Oh. Is anyone with Zay? I mean, I'm assuming that gap there is there for a reason. It's probably to drain water or whatever. But yeah. Zay clowning around. I don't know if you saw her, but she's clowning over there. This is really cool. So you've got yourself a little hot tub or something like that, jacuzzi hot tub. With a waterfall. 
I just heard a bunch of ruckus. I'm assuming it's okay because nobody else is freaking out, so that's good. But yeah, look at this is a super deep. Did you hear that? Okay, you're just fooling around. It's not me. Oops. Absolutely incredible. So then this room we missed as well, kind of. Yeah, because we didn't go over here. So there's another bathroom, shower, sauna, and change room. Oh, this is probably like their gym would have been here too, I'm assuming. Look at this though. Major water damage, like just rotten. Okay, let's go check out the basement now. Because I believe we've done everything up here. Now, nice hardwood floor, obviously. Big, big room. I don't know if it's... Oh, you, you're getting lit up here. You can see. There's a bar. We'll check that out in a second. But I want to go over here first. Because that looks cool. But I want to see what's in these rooms. Do not touch. Oh, it's a theater. Oh, cool. There's your in-wall speakers. And then your uh, tiered seating. Surround wall, speakers everywhere. And I bet you this is like the big system of whatever. Oh, there's vents. Oops. Yeah, so that would have been your main, enter this is your entertainment system room. But that friggin' thing gets hot if you got all those fans. This is sweet. Massive mechanical room. Oh, it's a wine cellar. Super cool. Sheena's Wines. So Sheena must have lived here. Actually, I did see the names of the people. Then we got Ice Wine, South Africa, Italy, France. Then I saw Ontario, Australia, California, Argentina. They got the whole world. Oh, and what's this one? Spain. This is just it's probably Bellier's room or something. Who knows? It's just massive. Like, you, obviously, it's the party area, but just huge. And this bar top is like leather or faux leather. It's pretty sweet. Well, it's back here first. Oh, massive walk-in refrigerator unit. That was... Not very nicely done, but I mean, this is just a refrigerator, no big deal. Huge bar. See a nice big industrial Hobart dishwasher. Crazy. Yeah, so my understanding, this place We'll be gone. I, I actually did see that the demolition permit was issued in October. So that tells me this one's on its way out very soon. Got a bathroom. Another uh, mechanical room. Wow. Massive servers and computer stuff. Holy crap. And uh, stereo. Wow. Oh, look at that plumbing. That's nice work. <laughs> Someone, they had some master plumbers in here to lay those lines that nicely. Well, maybe not masters, but regardless, it looks pretty nice. And look at these friggin' furnaces and everything and water softeners and heaters. Like, God, it must take a lot to run this friggin' place. And we got probably the elevator here. 
Yeah, I can't get in. Another big storage room. This very well could have been like the workshop, but now this would be, yeah, a workshop, but it wouldn't be for the people that live here. It would be for the maintenance people because I don't think when you're this rich, you really just fix things on your own. You never know, though. This looks like a bathroom roughing or a, sorry, laundry room roughing of sorts. A stinky bathroom. What the hell is this? I don't know what that unit is. Oh, it's part of the elevator system. Okay. Oh, jeez. This place just goes forever. It seems like the basement's bigger than the upstairs. Oh, and look at this. We've actually got some natural light for once down here. Yeah, it's a little kitchen. A little kitchen. So maybe this, this very well could have been where the staff stayed, actually. Although it's kind of... Depressing. If you were locked away in the basement. But then again, it's a nice little apartment. Actually, you know, you do got a couple windows. I bet you this was the staff room. This is because it's like a whole staff suite. It's a weird storage room. And another mechanical room. <sighs> All right, guys, well, that's the end of this epic adventure. $20 million abandoned mansion. I've got... Hi. Hi. That's how you do your outro? <laughs> that's how you do your outro? <laughs> that's how I do my outro. But anyways, guys, tell me what you think in the comments down below. Carlo Peloza is wherever the hell he is. <laughs> he is linked it's down below. So long. It's so long. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh. Zenny was there, obviously links down below. Tell me what you think in the comments down below. If you're not subscribed, definitely subscribe. Smash the like button. And remember, guys, always come back because Ritter Rider always has that epic shit. All right, thanks for watching. Peace. <laughs>